In this video, you will see how to add a table of content section to your Hugo blog. By the way, this is my website and currently it does not have a table of content section. And suppose I want to add it right here, that's above the first heading, so that my users can click on those anchor links and jump right to that section on a blog post. So table of contents will be a great way to improve the user experience of your blog. The readers can get an idea of what your page contains without scrolling the whole page. Before jumping into the code, I want to mention about two things. The first one is the default table of contents variable available in Hugo. This is the documentation and below you can see the usage. So Hugo can automatically generate table of contents from your markdown files. Here is an example markdown and Hugo can automatically parse it and generate the table of contents and store it in a page variable called dot table of contents so that you don't need to parse anything manually later you can use this variable in a page template or using a shortcut you can add it to your markdown files itself the next point is ensure that hugo is automatically generating id attributes for all your heading tags so let's open the code inspector and let's check a heading tag and here is an h2 tag and it has an id attribute which is set automatically by hugo during build time and let's check another heading also and here is an h3 tag and that too has an id if the headings do not have an id you cannot link to it by the way this is a built-in hugo feature which is enabled by default and here is the documentation for that and this feature is called auto heading id here it is heading ids that means hugo generates element ids for every heading on a page for example this is a heading and that produces this html so hugo converts a heading text to an id value this feature is enabled by default on all hugo installations so usually you don't have to do anything extra to enable it but sometimes some theme or Hugo installation may disable it explicitly and that's usually done in your site's config file and here is the config.toml file and let's check that it's clean so here you can see that there is no mention about auto heading IDs that means it is enabled so we are good to go but in case if you find that the auto heading ID value is set to false set it back to true this is a single post on my hugo blog and let's check the code that renders it here in my hugo installation directory you can see that i'm using a custom theme and inside the layouts default directory there is a file called the single.html that renders single post pages so single.html is the template file that displays single post pages Hugo server is running. Let me stop it and close the terminal. So here is the content area. Here we are calling the dot content Hugo variable, which pulls the content from markdown files and displays it on post pages. To add the table of contents above the post, open curly brackets and inside that call the dot table of contents variable. Now let's check it on the front end. For that, open a new terminal, then go to the Hugo directory and then run the command Hugo server, which will start the server. And if I reload the post, you should see the table of contents section above the post. If I click on an anchor link, it takes me right to that section. So our table of content links are working. However, there is a disadvantage. We can only add the table of contents above or below a post. So we need another way if you want to add it inside a post. For example, above this heading. When we edit the single dot HTML file, we can add the dot table of contents variable either above the content loop or below it. We cannot call the variable inside our markdown files either. So what we are going to do is create a shortcode and inside that shortcode we will call the dot table of contents variable. 
and then we will add that shortcut to each of our markdown file for now let me delete it from the template and next we want to create the shortcut for that go to your site directory and inside that you should find a layouts shortcuts directory if you don't have one create a directory and inside that create a file called toc.html you can name it any way you want and inside the toc file add the html i am adding a div here and inside the div tag open curly brackets and inside that here we are going to call the variable from inside a short code so we want to add the dot page variable before the dot table of contents variable so it's dot page dot table of contents okay this is our short code next we want to call this short code from our content markdown files so go to your content block directory and let me open a post file and i want to add it to this file that's above the first h2 heading and to call a short code again add two curly brackets and inside that add two curly brackets inside that add a less than greater than symbol then leave a space then toc space here the space is important also note that our shortcut name is same as the shortcut file name without the dot html part live reloading was enabled so you can see the table of contents section right where we added the toc shortcut in our markdown file let me add it to another post also for example i want to add it to this post right here now we have added the shortcut to only one of our posts so the table of contents won't be visible on any other posts so we need to open each post markdown file and call the shortcut so basically repeat the same process for all the markdown files for which you want to add table of contents okay it is showing up and one more thing we don't have a heading for this section and let me add that so once again go to the toc shortcut file and inside the div tag add an h2 tag table of contents okay that's fine so this is how you add table of contents to a hugo block by default it gets rendered in an html5 nav tag and it also supports a few customizations here is the documentation corresponding to that there are three parameters that you can use to configure table of contents that is n level ordered and start level n level and start level represent the heading levels while ordered sets whether the toc gets rendered in an ordered list or an unordered list as you can see it's an unordered list by default and suppose i want to change it to an ordered list so for that i want to copy this section copy the settings to clipboard then go to the code editor and open the site config file then scroll to the bottom and paste it then change the ordered value to true okay now if we check the site you can see that the list has been changed from unordered to ordered similarly you can also set the heading levels that you want to show up in the table of contents now it's showing both h2 and h3 headings suppose i want to change it to show only h2 headings so change the n level value to 2 and now the h3 heading is gone so that's it i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching